Hello friends, today we are going to read A Little Like You. The author is Suchi Govindrajan. The illustrator is Neha Rawat and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read A Little Like You. So what do you see in this? picture. You can see these different pieces of paper with what looks like different animals on them and they're all mixed up like this. And let's see what the story tells us about this. Rinky couldn't remember who she was. She just couldn't remember the word. Was she a high nose's dust? Ginormo sauce? Why marvelous? So what's going on here? This is Rinky. And you see this? She's thinking, who is she? She couldn't remember what type of animal she is. And so she is making up these words, trying to find out, is it that? Is it a high nose's dust? These are not real words or real animals. They are just things that Rinky is trying to put different words together to see, does that sound right? Is that who she is? Let's find out who Rinky is. She decided to go for a walk and find out. Maybe she would meet someone who looked like her. So Rinky is going out on a walk to try and find out from other animals what type of animal she is. I'm large and gray like you. Am I an elephant too? Rumph, said elephant. What you say is true, but we are taller and bigger than you. Our trunks are like pipes. Our ears are all flappy. Rinky, we are different from you. So who does she meet first? She meets the elephant and she asks, am I an elephant? Because I'm large, I'm also gray in color. Does that make me an elephant? But elephant says, no, you're not. Why? Because there are some differences. The elephant's ears are flappy. They are bigger and they can flap, they can move. And their trunks, right? The noses, their trunks are like, pipes. So you are not an elephant. I have a horn like some of you. Am I a deer too? How woof, said deer. What you say is true, but we're shorter and smaller too. We have antlers not horns, and they grow like two trees. Rinky, we are different from you. So next, who does Rinky meet? She meets the deer. And you can see this deer, he has these horns that are actually called antlers. They are not horns. And they look like trees growing from the deer's head. And so Rinky is not a deer. I love mud and water baths like you. Am I a water buffalo too? Oof, said water buffalo. What you say is true, but our horns are long and curvy. Our skin is a bit hairy, not folded or bumpy. Rinky, we are different from you. 
so next comes the water buffalo the water buffalo has horns and the water buffalo likes to sit in the water sit in the mud and take a bath and that's why rinki asks the water buffalo am i a water buffalo so what does the water buffalo say the water buffalo says that look at my horns the horns are curvy and they are so long whereas you see rinki's horn it's short and straight and their skin is different it is a bit hairy and rinki's skin is folded and has bumps on it i have bumpy skin like yours am i a crocodile too ah said crocodile what you say is true but we are flatter than you we have long snouts and shiny tails rinki we are different from you so here is the crocodile and the crocodile also has bumpy skin skin that is not smooth it has little bumps on it little ridges on it right and rinki skin is also bumpy so she thinks am i a crocodile but the crocodile says no we are different because we are flat rinki is taller the crocodile is on the ground and the crocodile's nose the snout is long it's super long see and uh, nose and mouth is long and the tail is shiny and so rinki is not a crocodile rinki thought hard as she walked over to the pond in the water she saw herself so here is rinki and she is looking at her reflection in the pond big nose half moon horn crumpled skin oh now she remembered she was a rhinoceros she was a bit like the others but she was different too mostly she thought i am just rinki so here is rinki and she has finally found out she has finally remembered what she is she is a rhinoceros the rhinoceros has a big nose and a short half moon shaped horn and the skin is crumpled it is folded and has ridges on it bumps on it and she remembers who she is and there are little parts of her that are like parts of the other animals but she is also different in her own way so let's read more about the rhinoceros meet the indian rhinoceros rinki is an indian rhinoceros who lives in kaziranga assam indian rhinos mostly live alone you might see them in groups when they are mating or when they are very young and need to stay with their mothers single horn on top of the nose like a unicorn lips can curl and grip favorite foods like grass leaves branches fruits and water plants three toes on each foot legs that can run at about 40 kilometers per hour 
bumpy patterns in some places. Thick skin that falls in folds. So here is the Indian rhinoceros and they live in Kaziranga, Assam. It's a place in Assam. It's a park and they live mostly alone. They are always by themselves unless they are very small and they need to stay close to their mothers or when they are mating, when they are making babies. And so this is the Indian rhinoceros. And here are all the things that tell you what the rhinoceros looks like. Indian rhinos are some of the biggest land animals in the country. They are bigger than humans, but smaller than elephants. So here you can see a comparison of the three, a human, a rhinoceros, and an elephant. In size, they are smaller than elephants, but bigger than people. Animals you can meet when you visit Kaziranga, Assam. Indian elephant, Barasinga or Eastern swamp deer, wild water buffalo, marsh crocodile. Kaziranga is also home to tigers, otters, turtles and many species of birds. So these are all the animals that you can see when you visit this place, Kaziranga in Assam. And there are also tigers, otters, turtles and many, many species, many types of birds. And here is Rinki with one of those birds. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are trunk, the nose of an elephant, antlers, the horns of a deer, snout, the part of an animal that includes the nose and mouth. Rhinoceros, a type of large animal with a short horn on its nose and skin in folds. Barasinga or Eastern Swamp Deer, a type of deer. Wild Water Buffalo, a large animal with long curved horns. Marsh crocodile, a type of large animal with a long body close to the ground and a large snout. Otter, a type of small animal that lives near water. Turtle, a type of small animal that has a hard shell covering its body. Try these questions. Of all the animals in this story, which would you like to see yourself and why? Write about this animal. Are there things about the way you look that are a little like your friends? Write about how you are a little like your friends.